Hey everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Today's character is Kane. Sounds pretty neat to me. Didn't even know where Kane was, apparently. So, Kane, 1.2 damage multiplier, 1 key, uh, low range, and lucky foot for a luck up and better gambling. Uh, we're pretty fast as well. No, overall, I'd say that was my fault. Uh, that's what I'd say overall. I would take that, honestly, since we're pretty fast. Uh, that's what made me think to say that, <clears throat> uh, was I thought, oh yeah, I could get lard from this dude, and I'd probably take it, because then, uh, you know, I'd still not be too slow, and I would have more health. But it's cool. So yeah, I'd like to get that tinted rock, that's the dream. I'd also like to get that, uh, that their red chest, and this here tinted rock, I need a lot of bombs video game. Hope you're working with me on this one. No? It's okay though, there's still an item room that I haven't found. Which could have a bomb item. Mr. Mega would be pretty sweet. Or, you know, could just get enough bombs right here and here and here. Alright. One damage up. If I get something that modifies my tears, point two tears up. And if I get something that modifies my speed, point two speed down. And I decided to bomb there because I wanted to see if the, uh... <clears throat> secret room was there. And it was. So this drops bombs for me. Uh, can be single bombs, one plus one free, or troll bombs of either kind. Uh, but it does it every few rooms and it's uh, gonna get me that other tinted rock. That one damage up is really nice though. Pretty happy about that. <clears throat> cool. That is, in fact, a tears up like it says. Uh, it makes my tears larger, but it's not a damage up. It's a minus one fire rate delay, not a different, like, not a normal kind of tears up. So it's actually really nice. The better my fire rate gets, the better it'll be. Uh, wow, another tinted rock. What do you, what do you want from me, video game? Uh, and it does add knockback, which kind of sucks, but it's probably worth it for the minus one fire rate delay. Dude, thanks for, like, doing all the work for me. Alright, that's tears up and three heart drops of any kind. And I figured I would get a bomb for this room so I can get one of the Sinsid Rocks. This one's better because it gets me money and is closer. So now I can get an arcade on the next floor, which doesn't really matter, but hey. Uh, this is a good start. So I got a tears up, uh, I got a fire rate to lay down, and I got, uh, you know, the small rock buff, obviously for tears. So I'm in really good shape overall, like already. This is just actually a great start. I'll check the uh, curse room. Oh yeah, we also have the paper clip. Sorry, I really can't see trinkets through the mic arm now. So I always like forget about them when I spawn with them. Like, especially as Eden, where I don't know that I've spawned with one, because it's like right in the way of the trinket at some angles. Uh, anyway. Uh, that makes it so that chests are free to open. Golden chests are free to open, that is. Which is pretty good, and I probably won't drop unless I get uh, cancer. Only trinket I drop it for, I think. Even Curved Horn, I don't need that badly, because I've got a lot of damage already. Or I'd, I'd, drew, I'd drop it for Curved Horn if I had, like, a ton of keys built up by then. Since at some point, I really don't need the free golden chests. This is going quite well for Tinted Rocks as well. I don't have another use item. Game Kid uh, gives me invincibility and contact damage. But enemies get feared and run away from me while it's active. And if I kill two enemies with it in activation, it heals me for one half red heart. One half red heart for every two enemies. <clears throat> Alright, so that's health up by 1.3 damage up. And I don't really want either of these, but I'll take the nail. Oops, I don't know why I didn't see that coming. Uh, because this way at least I get, uh, I may as well just go. I get a useful-ish item and I don't have to deal with uh, angel rooms being angel rooms, basically. It's free to open them, I may as well, it's four golden chests. 
A lot of good stuff I can get out of this. Got a luck up, got a key and a bomb. Chance that tears that hit me just don't damage me. Overall, pretty good. I, I'm, I'm happy. You know, it's an easy life sometimes. Okay, there we go. Got him. Okay. That starts fading as soon as you finish the room, which is really nice. Uh, that was a great addition for Afterbirth, where like enemy blood and stuff starts fading as soon as the room is cleared, instead of when it would have normally faded, so you don't accidentally walk into it when you clear a room. That was a really good change. I will check what you got. Oh, you're one of you. Well, it's good to pick this stuff up. Uh, Book of Belial does increase my chance of earning a double rune, but I also don't really feel like I need it because I have a lot of damage, and this way I at least gain some soul hearts here and there. Uh, it's almost as much damage up. I don't know. I don't think it make, makes much of a difference. Okay, and then I can use the Bible to get that money, since there was a ton of it. So, maybe I get another luck up if I'm lucky. <laughs> See, look, all I had to do was joke about it, and it happened, easy. So, we're in really good shape right now. Pretty much everything is going our way. Pick it up. I think that's part of the poop transformation that I've never once gotten. So I may as well try, right? So far, so good. And I'm gonna be doing really well for bombs by the end of this run, that's for sure. I kinda thought that would sail over my head. The one that hit me that didn't damage me. So I'll buy the soul heart, buy this, and then be really sad because I don't have a respawn yet. <clears throat> but I would absolutely do it if I got one. I never get to use Suicide King. It's quite sad every time. Top secret room. It's fine, I guess. You know, I didn't want anything useful. Come on, hit me with a hot respawn item. Just, you know, I believe in you. There are a couple good ones. Hey, we got a chance. Uh, this is an unfilled health up and a chance to drop a full red heart when I get hit. It's not a respawn item. I can't get a respawn item from this no matter what. That's, oh, that was my own fault. Both times. Okay, I'm fine without that. All right, so... Eh, I don't need the candle. I'm doing all right. Famous last words. Can still go in here. I feel like Cursed Eye is like a likely thing to happen there, so that probably wasn't a good strat, but it's fine. So that item makes it so the pills can't be bad, only good or neutral, but there are a lot of bad neutral pills, so they're still not worth using because it doesn't identify them like the uh, PhD does. And um, it also makes it so that when I get hit, there's a chance I get a lot of invincibility, as you can see there. I don't know why I did that. I was just like, just go up, you'll be fine. And then I didn't just go up. You can't listen to me. Sure. I said sure, I'll take it. Now for what's not worth it. 
is breaking all of those with my face. Such a high chance that I got hit for that, but I didn't. It's the safer bet to take the uh, judgment card, but I can't live on the safe side now, can I? What do you got? The relic drops a soul heart for me every uh, two to five rooms whenever it feels like it, basically. It's an interesting guy. Because it's just like, hey, you want a soul heart? Probably not, so I'll give you one later. But actually, I'll give you one now, too. I don't know, it just it doesn't make any... It doesn't make any sense. Two to five is a pretty wide range. But it means that I really don't need this use item, so, of course, good for me not taking the candle. There's no way of knowing, but... Don't go into shops and curse the blind. And especially don't buy things. Sometimes it goes well for you. I will take the glowing hourglass. Glowing hourglass is a good dude. Yeah, sure, I got it back. See, I went for that because I had the glowing hourglass. So if the hit wasn't worth it, I would just, like, use it. Glowing hourglass is cool. It basically undoes the current room that you use it in. So anything that happened in there didn't happen. Even the timer goes back and everything. So. If you take, uh, like, ten hits in a room because you just get really screwed or something, uh, you can just be like, nah, I didn't, that, that nah, never happened. Don't know what you're talking about. Oh, also, hide mine. Doubles the damage of flies and spiders. He's a good dude. Now I just need some flies and spiders, right? Okay. Dirty's no big deal. Sadly, of course, you're not going to be able to undo your Suicide King activation. Because you're dead. If you have a respawn, uh, even then it won't count. You won't be able to undo it because Suicide King will take you to the room unless you respawn using... Lazarus's rags, then it might work. That'd be cool. I have to try that sometime. It's an oddly specific combination that I'll probably never get, really, but... Hey, maybe one day. But that'd be kind of cool. You could farm Suicide King until you got, like, really good payouts. Oh, I'd be into that. Uh... Health up by 1, tears up by 0.7, shot speed down by 0.16, good item. Okay. Close one. Cool, we good. I, I don't want that. So I do this, and I don't have to pay to get out, and it's fine. Not that I needed to, but hey. I've got the thing. I may as well use it for something once in a while. Okay, that's fine. I got lucky. But that's what infamy is for. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Whoa, that was close. Nice. Everything worked out. Don't worry. Dad's key is a cool item. But I'm alright. Gotta take advantage of the glowing hourglass that I never use. I don't know, it's an item that I never really take, so it's an item that I feel like I should have occasionally, even if I use it just for the most minor things all the time. The shop's real far away, apparently, but I also don't have 15 cents. This is a good boss. It's actually really hard to dodge perfectly.
but we good. We made it through the hard part. Tears up, shot speed up. My tears are probably like definitely maxed by now. But of course more fire aid delay would make everything better. Okay. So this run's going pretty smoothly. Which is nice, because it's a serious change relative to what I'm used to. Alright. Oh, also, if I happen to go to a shop and I end up with, uh... I guess I should activate. That's not what I wanted. Okay, leave. Should get to half a heart here, since I'm conveniently here, and it actually let me. Anyway, if I find uh, the battery, cool thing about that with the uh, glowing hourglass is you have two charges for it. When you use one of them, uh, it'll undo the fact that you used it as well, so you'll just have infinite use of your item. Unless they fixed that, but I don't think they did. Uh, but it's pretty cool. Because you just never have to do anything and you always have a full charge for your item. You can use it every single room, all the time. So, that was something I discovered while getting a keeper unlock on this save, I think. So that's a pretty cool combo. Of course, it's not that common that it matters that you need to use it more than like once every few rooms when you would have a charge anyway, but like it's cool. So far, no. No problem here. So many bombs. I actually really don't have very many keys, so I guess it's good that I still have this trinket. Oh, okay. Alright then. That's cool too. Now we have Mega Blast. I'm down. This should be fun. Just get ready. Gotta get back to full health and whatnot. Then we can party. Just don't shoot me again. Thanks. Oh, cool. Head of the Keeper. That's... I don't see that, like, ever. That turns my tears into coins. Those coins. Uh, don't have increased damage, but when they hit an enemy, they can drop a penny for me. Which is, like, not a big deal, and it can't be a lucky penny, but it's cool. So I want to save this for boss rush, since I'm pretty much making boss rush. Hopefully, I actually, you know, want to take something from boss rush, so that I can use it. Because Mega Blast is pretty darn good in boss rush. Dr. Fetus, no thanks. I don't have anything that makes it cool this run, so it's just kind of boring and overpowered otherwise. Hence why I shall pass. Sure, I'll take the steam sail and a compass. 50% off in shops and always points me to the icon rooms, but not how to get to them. Some of the things, uh, some of the half off is rounded up, some is rounded down. Okay. Check this out. We'll still definitely make boss rush. Should be fine. Dumb as it is, I still absolutely would use the Suicide King if I got any respawn that wasn't like the Ankh or 
freaking Lazarus's rags. Since I ditched the thing that made me want to care about Lazarus's rags, that is. Oh, you totally hit that. Be real. Thanks. Okay, so Polaroid. Right, I was already here, and you. No respawns, but <clears throat> that's okay. I'll just take immunity to spiders, basically. Sadly, what makes this um, not optimal is death animations for enemies and enemies that don't immediately spawn. Otherwise, you would always be able to get the charge for your item back uh, just from using it because it kills them that quickly. Easy every time. Still, cool stuff. We will make rather quick work of boss rush. Since we get two charges, it's six waves uh, per activation. Since it's a 12 room charge. And that means that we just have to get through two and a half uses of the item basically, and then we are good to uh, go. That stuff damages you, so you know. I always forget that it's even going to be there. So invincibility does stack in this game. Pretty nice. Take your time dying, everyone. What even just... Oh, a troll bomb. So as usual, doesn't quite make it through. All because of death animations. It's really sad, because you'd be able to do so much. Like, if, if none of them had death animations, you'd be able to do so much. Or if stuff spawned while the death animations were going on. I'm sure that'll be a mod when Afterbirth Plus comes out. And then I can't wait to see if you can, like, fully clear all of uh, Boss Rush with just one activation or not. Or if you can get enough to uh, stack an activation of it, see if it goes twice at once, or if it uh, would uh, just override the activation. I'm curious about this Mega Blast business, you know? Alright, so this will finish boss rush for us, no problem. And that should be it. Bum friend, sure. He picks up money, which is great, because I don't really care about all the money that I'm getting as drops from uh, the item, because I'll never be lucky. And uh, he drops pickups that I probably am not particularly more interested in, but, uh, you know, I am a little more interested, so it's all good. Yeah, that was not the correct direction. Come on, you want that. You can have the dime. Question mark card is a second use of my use item. Which is kind of funny. Yeah, I can't pick up the uh, thing, sadly. But this will... I don't know, I used it again just to see, but I don't know if it's doing like double damage or any of that business. One should be out by now. But it's not like I don't instantly kill everything. So I, I don't really know. Okay. Time to go back and actually pick up stuff that I got. See what any of it was that I don't get to know already. Like this. That's useful. Double my keys. Take these bombs. 
I almost got the full charge back anyway, which is pretty cool. Okay, so I want you, and let's go. I'm never getting this respawn item. I'm just gonna, like, accidentally use the card and die and be sad. I haven't done that before. So far. I don't get Suicide King so much that that's a, often a hazard, though. Alright, so I'll get to use the item next floor. That's fine. So sadly, when it just spawns two sides, they really get on your case and stay on your case. It is okay, though. I wasn't quite moving soon enough. Yeah, I was gonna say, horse will kill those for me. Part of the reason I wanted to kill death itself first. Uh, Alright, ball of bandages, 7 damage on contact to enemies. Uh, block steers is good. Okay, well, I don't get to know where I'm going at all. Oh, I picked up a heart somewhere along the line, I guess. Because no longer Polaroid invincibility. Oh, I can see that now. Right, good job. God dang it. Never the correct direction. Well, one day I'll find the right way. Got like no charges for that. So unfortunate. It'd be cool if like Bum Friend wouldn't pick up lucky pennies or something. Or you'd still get the luck up if it did. Cause like I wanna pick up pennies to see if I get luck ups, but I also don't want to like, you know, pick up everything. And not let bum friend drop cool stuff. So it's a lose lose situation. Cool, thanks. I needed that. Alright, back on the path. See if we can find the boss anytime ever. I'm just gonna bomb out of this room, screw it. It's an annoying room to deal with without flight. Even with flight, it's kind of annoying. But it's just not a room I'm fond of. Okay, these guys need to die. I don't like the lump enemies though. They are not cool dudes. Teleporting all over the place and whatnot. Not letting you damage them enough. Cool, thanks. Wish I had Mega Blast for this room. Why am I picking these up? I don't need them. They're not lucky. Thanks, buddy. 19 keys isn't enough to not care about keys anymore though. So I still need my trinket in the event that another good trinket shows up, unless it's cancer. Well, this isn't what I was hoping for. This is most definitely not what I was hoping for. Thanks. Take it, bum friend. Okay, door over here? Yes, good. Hmm, do I use... do I fight Hush? Feels like it's been a while, but at the same time... Feels like if I don't... Get enough damage done with the... Uh, Mega Blast... I, I don't think I'm fighting Hush. Hello, boss. Ah. 
Oops. Got some nice invincibility, though. The devil room. That's fine. No respawns. And <laughs> Curse the Lost again. I love it. This point it's already over anyway. I'm just gonna waste it. That's my luck without having the compass. And because of having the compass, that's why I get Curse the Lost. I already know that there's some troll engine programmed into that. There has to be. Let's see, look at this though. Has the compass, does never see the map again. Got the compass for one floor. Hey, little video game. I'm, I'm leaving. Thank you. <sighs> I still don't know what triggers the single screen charge. I really wish I did. Okay. Didn't really need that that much, but you know, it's cool anyway, I'll take it. Didn't mean to steal your coin. Sorry, bum friend. Okay, I almost didn't see the door at the right. The item tracker is kind of annoyingly placed for that. Gotta love that extra explosion doing so much for me. Uh, I wanted that one actually. Could have been a luck up. I decided it probably would be. Oops, oh dang it, I accidentally picked it up. Tried to barely avoid it. But no. At this point, you know, I don't think I will save Mega Blast. Screw it. Sorry. I didn't want that. Unless this is literally. Well, I don't see the boss immediately, so good enough. Dang, this is a lot more floor than I expected. I guess Curse the Lost does add rooms, so it makes sense. Wow, I didn't even get to finish. It's ridiculous. I wanna make sure to go pick up that quarter, by the way. Just in case uh, the quarter felt like showing up in the Next floor, the start of the chest. Battery helps too. There we go. Got me another luck up. So now we gotta fight Isaac the normal people way. With the ball of bandages and some tight movements. Sadly, we're not getting another charge out of this. Close one. I'm gonna not get close to him anymore. Thanks for the bomb. Just, yeah, I was gonna say just stay at the door and you'd be fine. But that one was, it was too late not to stay at the door. That's the problem. Doors are generally the other safe spot though. That was my bad. That's a dumb one. 
All right, let's see if we finally get us a respawn. It'd be really nice. Oh my God, no curse of the lost. I don't believe it. I track slowing on the ground and have a chance to shoot slowing tears. Shoot in four directions sometimes. Apparently I don't have enough luck to always shoot in all four directions, which is surprising. Uh, I will take this for the tears up and range down because I'll also take this to shoot lasers. Just because I can. Because it gives me infinite range and fixes that problem. I don't know why I didn't move there. I guess I was expecting knockback like normal or something, but obviously that, you know, wasn't happening. Sorry. I don't have a need for nickels, too. This will give me stuff. That'll be good. Technology isn't really offering me anything, by the way. I just felt like taking it. Alright, you can have all of that, bum friend. It's all for you. No oh, thanks, I'm a magician, I don't really need that. Oh, that would have been really unfortunate if those head chain reacted into me getting hit. Guess it's not that big a deal. I should be able to clear the floor with uh, one activation of Mega Blast, though. That'd be nice. Okay, I'm glad that that actually, like, finally knocked it off of its horse. It's a respawn. I'll do it just because. Boom, now I'm blue, baby. PhD, pills can't be bad, only good in neutral, identifies all pills. Wow, that was not very lucky. Okay, so if I keep shooting in the same direction, my fire rate gets better. Uh, random tear effects and a uh, bouncing explosive dude. That generally wrecks my day. Why do I? Oh, proptosis effect. Unfortunate because that makes Mega Blast super weak. But homing's pretty cool. Alright, so that wasn't very lucky, but I guess I got three chests. So, Mystery Sack drops pickups when, like, pickups that it feels like when it feels like. Uh, sticky bombs it means my bombs stick to enemies that walk into them if it kills them. Uh, they drop spiders that do, you know, all sorts of bunches of damage. And Dry Baby absorbs enemy tears. That was unfortunate. And has a chance to activate an Economicon effect when doing so. Here, I'll use that for you. It'll help. Alright, I'm just gonna fight the boss. Accept it. You know, I might die, but it's fine. Alright, get me out of here. Oh, it shot past it. Uh, that's fine, though, because I really did that to myself, because I had no reason to use the uh, Suicide King I just wanted to. Blue Baby Respawn is generally not very worthwhile. Uh, and I guess I wouldn't have had as much invincibility with Kane, but I would have um, had more health and more damage. I also shouldn't have taken $3 bill because it's really bad, and I had Mega Blast, and as you saw, Proptosis actually killed my ability. I would have been able to clear the entire floor without Proptosis for sure. Uh, so I don't like, you know, I just made bad decisions on purpose at the end because I wanted to use Suicide King and take advantage of it. Haven't gotten to in a while. So, you know, that's no big deal. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.